So we're moving right along, right? Build this nice little routine, everybody. Eyes closed, deep, slow breath. Repeat after me. I can do it. And now question number nine. One minute, 41 seconds. Good luck and begin. Bravo, We've, we're approaching the final question. So really important summary question. So because we took more time, or I'm sorry, less time on the vocab, we get to spend more time on the summary. Again, because I'm guiding you, it's a little awkward. It's tough because on the TOEFL, we're, we train you for time management. So again, if you finish some questions early, you get to use that time for other tough questions but only the time you save. If you haven't answered questions earlier, you have not earned the extra time. So remember to avoid that habit of, okay, because I do it, everybody does it, but we, we want to avoid it until we're really skillful. And if we're learning to improve our reading score, it's too dangerous where we say, let me try this question a little longer, give it more time, and I'll answer the other questions faster. That's just a recipe for disaster. So again, feel comfortable guessing moving on. Uh, we save some extra time for the summary with our strategy. So big, slow, deep breath for this final question. Repeat after me. I can do it. Question number 10. So we need to choose three answers here that summarize. Now the tricky thing is there's one final paragraph that we didn't get a chance to read because there's no questions on it. But we need to know that paragraph to make sure we have a sense to answer the full question. So this is about, let's see here, 61 words. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to finish this paragraph. Go ahead and finish reading it, starting now. Now, we'll do two minutes. We'll do two minutes and 20 seconds. 
I'll give you a little bit over. We'll kind of assume that you, you know, you did well. You move smoothly. Just to give you a little time, extra time here. Choose your three answers. Good luck. And begin. Bravo, everybody. So we completed the reading and amazing and impressive. We did that in the hour, meaning that we, we, we stopped regularly, answered some questions. I gave you some tips and feedback. So it always surprises me how fast time flies. Let's do some assessments. We're going to review the answers really quickly, uh, give you the correct answers so you know your score. So a couple things. In this reading, did the regular deep breathing and I can do it help you stay more calm and focused than normal? Did that help you today? Yes, no. Nice, honest feedback. Go ahead and send me a text. Good, good. And it's okay if, if the answer is no, but I love the yes is coming in. So, Will you do that on your TOEFL? I cannot encourage you enough because it is stressful and it is common for you to spend hundreds of hours or weeks or months or days or, or dozens of hours studying. And if we don't have a method to keep ourselves calm, sometimes stress can really erase all of, that, all of what we learned because of the nature of the exam. So I wanted to make sure that you do that. The next thing is, did you develop a better sense of the importance of time management that you're not working to understand you're working to try to arrive at the best answer in a given amount of time for each question it's like every question is its own little timed test and we can feel 60 percent confident and if you think about that logically still be able to choose the correct answer like we don't need a hundred percent understanding did you develop a better respect and ability with timing? Yes or no? Did you 
develop a better sense and ability with time the importance of it guessing and moving on a critical part of getting your dream score on the TOEFL yes no maybe so everybody good good and remember feeling feeling that you confused is a part of the TOEFL unfortunately so you don't want to let that break strategy or break timing so critical good 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 and so let's go ahead review the answers get our basic score and talk about next steps I can't believe that was one hour already <laughs> at least for me it goes by so fast so I'll give you about one minute to just review and double check your answers and uh, how many you got correct so the summary question has three choices A D E if you got one out of three you don't get any points for that if you got two out of three you get one point and if you got three out of three you get two points so every question is worth one point the summary worth two points if you get two out of three one point if you get three out of three two points so the total possible points are 11 so I'll give you one minute to discover how many points did you get one minute to kind of figure that out check your answers all right so go ahead and text your total numbers and I see those sad faces it's okay it's okay um I want you to be proud of yourself for being here you know you're working hard for your success I promise you and guarantee you we can pass this we have the strategies the techniques it's very doable it's a there's a way to succeed so it's, if you're feeling sad it's okay it tells you okay some motivation to improve wonderful thing is you know we're partners so you're not alone we're gonna change that to a happy face might take some months might take some weeks or days but we'll make that happen so feel feel that it's, we're gonna make it work the next thing is what's our overall score so what you want to do is divide your points by 11 so whatever you got X our variable going back to algebra divided by 11 so for example let's say we got a score of seven points right let's see Juno seven so seven divided by eleven and we have that little decimal point right like sixty four percent so then what you do just to get a sense of what you might get on the TOEFL is you multiply that we'll make a little asterisk for multiplication multiply that by thirty and you get your kind of a, a nice evaluation of your score oops so 7 divided by 11 times 30 and so we can expect on the TOEFL if we answered every reading like this that we would score a 19 so you can see where you are so you can text your scores kind of let me know and get a sense of what, how we're doing and in general on the TOEFL when you review a reading you want to be getting 30 out of 30s uh, because you review the reading you have the strategy you have everything under time conditions you feel you can do it on a new reading right um, and when you take a new reading to see if you're ready I would suggest that you keep training until you're able to score two to four more points than your dream score 
If your dream score is a 22, you're scoring 24 to 26. If your dream score is a 25, you're scoring 27 to 29. If your dream score is like, you know, a 28 or a 30 out of 30, then of course you're just aiming for that, that top score. But remember everybody, I, everybody, you don't need perfect understanding to get a 30 out of 30. You need great understanding, but you're still going to feel confused here and there. Every time I take the TOEFL, there's always one question in, in one reading, every, definitely in the full reading, but almost per reading, that's a little bit of a, hmm, right, was it this or that? It's just, the, it's just they're that tricky, they're that skillful, it's, it's, but we can still get the correct answers even when we feel like that if we stay calm and follow strategy. For everybody who needs help, you know, we have the next steps to train this reading, to keep working together to improve. But was the class helpful today? Does anybody agree it went by super fast? <laughs> and Marahan and others, I'll be sharing the links to join pretty soon. Thumbs up. Was the class helpful? You feel good about it? Did it contribute to you? Yeah, time flies. You're not alone. Your success is coming. I'm excited to be working with you. And we're never going to stop working to be better, teaching you better, until you pass. So we're in this until we defeat the TOEFL, and we will. So have a wonderful day, everybody. Hit that final thumbs up if you haven't already. I always love seeing that. That's like our reward besides having you having you join and be part of the Noteful community. So until next time, bye-bye, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. Study hard. Your success is coming. Good luck. We can do it.